Hi there, Alfredo here. In this video, I want to show you how to set up location to enable all the features that are part of the browser management system in Business Central. So the first thing we do, we find the list of our locations and we can start and creating a location from scratch or we can use an existing location and enable warehouse management features. You can see that I have a location Manchester that I created for this video. The area where we enable warehouse management system features is in the warehouse tab. Now there are two types of transactions that we must set up a location uh, for which warehouse management system is enabled. That is inbound transactions and outbound transactions. The inbound transactions require two um, kind of documents and therefore features. The first one is the require receive. With require receive, we enable the functionality that allows us to create warehouse receipt documents to initiate the inbound process, mostly for purchase orders. But this can also be the receipt of a sales return over an inbound transfer. And this would allow us to receive goods into a name bay, a sort of a loading bay in your warehouse. The next action that we need to perform in order to uh, receive stock in full is to enable the put away. When I enable the put away, in my location, I now tell the system that I need the extra step uh, when I receive my goods. With put away, we move items from the receipt bay into the final, the final place, the storage or a pick phase bin, which again in Business Central is managed through bins that we will look at that in a moment. The next type of transaction that we want to enable our location for are outbound. And outbound start from, outbound transactions are initiated from a pick, where we take items from the pick phase or a storage bin and we put it into a loading bay waiting for the items to be shipped. So therefore, I need, need to enable the required pick. The second step for also management system in Business Central is the required shipment. When I enable this feature, I now tell the system that after the pick, I can use warehouse shipment documents to consolidate or break down even um, picks that we have completed to ship goods out of our location. Again, this it's most of the time a sales order that we ship to a customer, but it can also be a purchase return, return to supplier or it can be an outbound transfer from the location, Manchester, to another location. That's for another video. So now with this setup, I am almost ready to use the browser management system, system features. The last thing that I need to do is to enable bin mandatory. You really want to have the bin mandatory on your location so that you can benefit from uh, the warehouse management features and arrange your stock uh, in a logical way. With this setup, my location Manchester is enabled with some of the warehouse management system features that are available in Business Central, but not all. This is a simple, a basic warehouse management feature. And I will show you in other, will show you in other videos what we can do or what we cannot do with this setup. To enable all the features, of um, for warehouse management system in Business Central, we need to enable this flag, which is called Directed Put Away MPIC. When I enable this field, something will change in my location. You can see that something has changed. First of all, cross docking is enabled. The default bin selection is grayed out, mainly because Business Central will now use logic and will suggest users which bin to choose when they put away stock and when they pick it. And of course, I cannot unselect all the warehouse management documents, warehouse documents, receive shipment, put away impacts that I have selected before, because with this feature, we use all um, the features in Business Central that allow us to move stock through the warehouse. The last um, thing that I wanted to show you is that in this basic setup, we need at least two things. 
we see that bin is mandatory, therefore we need to use bins. And you can see I have the one adjustment bin, which is a virtual bin that we'll discuss in another video. And I have a couple of bins here. I can keep uh, adding bin, use bins using a logical arrangement uh, for the bin coding. And of course, I need to select a zone, which with which is mandatory when we use full management system features. So a zone is a subdivision, let's say, of my location or my warehouse. So I can put the item into the bins which belong to a certain zone. And this is enough to get you started with all the features uh, that are part of the browse management system um, list of capabilities in Business Central. Thanks for watching.